hey guys welcome back to we need to talk if you're new make sure you like comment and subscribe and if you're old welcome back we need to talk and today we are on day four of my 30 days out so um i don't really have that many updates well kind of today i am i went to a conference back in november in california it was the Abercams conference the annual biomedical Medical research conference for minority students. So uh, I went to that conference. I went to it before and it was a very meaningful con uh, conference that I went to and I'm glad I went to it. I connected with a lot of mentors and I got a lot of help with like maneuvering through grad school from going to that conference. So um, since the holidays are coming up and I've reached out to some of them through email already since the conference, I like to send out thank you cards but I don't traditionally send them like right after the conference because I feel like that's when a lot of people will send out thank you cards so yours can get lost so I reach out <clears throat> I reach out to them through email and um and then I'll send thank you cards to them as well with uh, my information I have all of their business cards right here I have a lot of business cards actually but I got some really good people that I connected with um and I'm going to send them a thank you card with my link. Well, um, I'm actually going on right now. I'm going to make the thank you cards and I'm going to order some business cards from Staples. Uh, I've been meaning to get them for a while, but every time I try to get them, it just never happened. So I'm going to order those right now because they have same day at Staples for business cards. And I think it's good to have them just because it's professional and you can put all of your contact information in one place. And I feel like that's good when you are reaching out to someone that you met at something as big as a conference because it's easy for them to forget names. So I'm going on Staples and I'm going to order some business cards. And then I have thank you cards right here and I'm gonna write all of them out I kept stamped with them so I wouldn't need to well have an excuse for not getting them in time but I'm gonna have put something about the holidays in them since that's when I decided I wanted to send them um, some of them this will be my first time reaching out to them but like I said I don't like to send it I like to send it at a meaningful time so for me that's okay because I am doing this strategically so that it helps me in the end because I'm pretty sure a lot of people have stopped sending them thank you cards if they did by now so and I kept everything in and some of them um so funny story I'm I'm really thoughtful I guess I would say so some of the um thank you cards that I'm gonna write are gonna like have something meaningful that they'll remember from the conference because every time I talk to people it seems like it's never just like a surface conversation we get really deep into things and I think that's good because it allows um, us to connect more by being able to learn the person before actually like being around them so um one time I was crying. I was uh, talking to this lady and I was crying and I kept using up all her tissue. So she gave me like a pack of tissue and I said, I'm sorry. <laughs> and <clears throat> I sent her a thank you card and I sent her a new pack of tissue. I'm like, sorry for taking all of your tissue last time we saw each other. And we keep in good contact. She's really nice. And she's helped me out a lot with just everything I've went through with my program. And she's definitely, help pave the path that I decided to go as far as getting my degree so I really appreciate her and I hope to see her sometime soon she didn't go to the conference this year but I really enjoyed um talking to her <clears throat> um so yeah oh and I was gonna I wanted to look up a note like something generic things you can put in um thank you cards because I feel like sometimes it's hard because you don't know what to put so here's one that I have it was nice meeting you at the Abercams conference in California back in November I enjoy your encouraging words as I share my journey as a master's student with you and look forward to speaking with you in the future about future re in the future about research opportunities in higher education happy holidays respectfully Nakara Brown so that's something I'll send um 
I think when I wrote that I was rushing, so I'm going to definitely have to um, proofread that. But then some of the cards that I'm going to be sending, they're going to have um, something from the conference that will help them remember who I was more. Because I always seem to connect with people where that it happens and it's just an interesting time. So I'm on Staples to order my business cards. Um... One thing that I'm going to have to figure out is, as far as emails, what I should do. Because I have my uh, school email. And, um, I mean, it still works, but it's very long. And if I'm not going to be going to the school anymore, I'd rather use something else. But, I don't know yet. <laughs> so, I'm going to still use it on my business card. Just because I still have it. That's really what I wanted to talk about today in this video. Um, just making making sure you utilize all of your resources whenever you are going through a phase like this because um who you know or who knows you can really help you out so if you have people in your corner that can um speak highly of you to other people to market you will market you so that they can help you get a job then that's always a plus and that's what make it makes it easier i'm not trying to say like you have to know someone to get a job because you can't get a job off of what you um your background and what you've done but as far as like what you're interested in and um a quicker way knowing people definitely help so um and it should be a mutual mutually beneficial relationship it shouldn't just be you always using that person to get what you need it should be um, beneficial to both of you guys for the help that you both are receiving so make sure like the relationships that you're cultivating they are um, meaningful and positive so that both of you guys are growing and it's easy to help each other out so that's how i like to think about like any uh connections that i meet as far as uh, meet networks from a conference or from my job or just meeting people i always want it to be meaningful and not just a surface relationship where it's like we're just using each other so um networking will definitely help you during this process um, utilize it to your best ability when I was in undergrad the thing that helped me after I graduated the first time um, with uh, maneuvering different jobs was the people I knew the nursing home that I ended up working at my grandma got me there thanks graham cracker I loved working with you <laughs> but yeah so she was the reason I was able to get the job at the nursing home and I used my um my the employees from Chick-fil-a as my references so it wasn't like a bad ending um the other job I just applied for it and it was out of luck that I got it so that's a like a cascade of a mixture of both um Chick-fil-A, I just started out there when they opened up and I was able to use those references to help me get a job that my grandma could um, help me get into. And then I, by chance, got the position at a hospital getting paid more than both of the jobs I previously had. So you have to, it's going to be a mixture of both. It's not just going to be one. So don't think you can't get a job if you don't know people because you still can. And if you know people, utilize them it'll be beneficial to you and that person in the end so that's what I'm doing today um, I haven't heard back from any of the uh, other jobs but I did see that at first um, <clears throat> some of the places that I applied to the positions had just been accepted it didn't say anything else but I was looking at some I think there were like two or three that I saw from one um, particular location that um, said they were under review now so that's exciting gonna keep applying I've been still using indeed and uh, LinkedIn to apply to jobs and today I'm going to be um, sending out my resume to some people and also um, I'm going to go on the society where well, one of the people that I'm reaching out to um, I met him and he was like the program director for a society so I'm going to reach out to him as well I mean, I'm well, I'm going to look at positions there that way because he, he told me about a specific place 
or a specific position a school it was a school so I'm gonna at least look and get familiar with the society and also the program that he's possibly talking about so that when I do connect with him I will at least, at least have some knowledge of what, uh, the program that he's talking about to show that I'm even interested so that's what I'm doing today um, I'm trying not to make these videos too long and I feel like a lot, not a lot is going on right now I work I work this weekend at CVS. Um, I worked yesterday and it's almost towards that time. I need to start packing up my apartment, but I really like to do it last minute. I don't know why, but yeah, I do. So, um, still waiting to hear back from jobs, but I'm reaching out to more people, sending out some resumes to help maneuver the process. Um, and I'm gonna keep applying to jobs. Networking is definitely a plus during this process. If you know people, utilize them in the best way possible that will benefit both you and them because if you are doing what you need to and um, you become a reliable source, both of you guys benefit because now you're each getting connections that can help each other out. So utilize your resources well. Um, write thank you cards. You don't always have to send them right away. I don't know if this is the best thing to tell you guys, but this is what I like to do because I feel like that's how they remember me more when it's not with everybody sending them things or bombarding them with uh, emails. So that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, thank you for watching this video. I hope you are able to take something from it about networking and I'm excited to see how everything else is gonna work out and please if you have any advice or anything you feel like I should talk about let me know in the comments I would love to discuss anything you guys have questions about and if something if you have something that may help me I would love to get your advice so thank you for watching and we gotta talk tomorrow okay tomorrow see you tomorrow <laughs>